Good morning, folks. Everyone should know the earthquake watch is high from coronal holes and planetary geometry with Jupiter coming in to conjoin the sun. They didn't disappoint, but first, we're over at spaceweathernews.com where the last day on our star was even calmer than previous days. Dark coronal holes continue ominously turning in, along with the bright active region ahead of it to the south. Solar flaring continues to be pitiful. We're in B-class range, and that's even with the lone sunspots on the disk trying to mix up a bit. Look at blue positive, making a break for the caboose. No flaring thus far, though, and instead we've got a minor geomagnetic event this morning. The BZ tipped southward to begin pouring into Earth's atmosphere as the density was climbing from below 10 to over 20 protons per cubic centimeter, and the phi angle of the solar wind did a little plie. We expect more coming early this week, as the streams from the coronal holes will arrive at Earth, and of course, they are combining with the planetary geometry for what we previously described as a peak watch that would last for days, and indeed it has. The uptick surge in seismicity has continued with big earthquakes in both Fiji and Tonga, not far from the blot events in eastern Indonesia, New Zealand above average along with the United States. Five-pointer off Oregon won't shake houses, but... It is well above average. Next, we're looking at the helium focusing cone of what is essentially neutral interstellar wind the sun encounters as it blazes through the galaxy. Apparently, there is a major source of high energy x-rays. They don't have any idea where it's coming from. Also this, we're highlighting Hubble in preparation for their major announcement on Europa tomorrow. Here, I'd like to suggest that a lot of electromagnetic explanations abound for the shape seen here, but the experts are still going with gravity. Multiple supernovas, one inside the other, blasting in different directions and happening to present a near-uniform symmetry despite the spatio-temporal and energetic differences in events. Hmm. Anyway, here's a look at yesterday's hailstorm in Algeria. Not exactly the makings of a fun outdoor fall day. We also have footage coming in from the terrible rains that have struck parts of India this past week. Just a little shift in monsoon flow and everything goes wrong. Anyway, folks, yesterday's podcast broke down a lot of information on earthquake forecasting, including the logic behind the global electric circuit involvement with earth spots and OLR. We also discussed the coming Europa announcement and speculate as to the most likely discovery to be made. There was much more, but right now you're watching Pressure and Radar Forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.